Hello everyone and in this video we will be continuing with our simple chatbot series in PyTorch. So in the last video we implemented this part that we that is we created a vocabulary after removing the punctuations and we also did stemming. In this video we are going to do generate the training samples by creating vectors using bag of words. So this is something that we will be doing in this video. I will also be uh, explaining to you the important parts that are necessary for example the intense map mapping that we are going to do right now. So what is intense mapping and what it means? So basically you remember if the in, if you remember the intents were this. So let me open the file. So as you remember our all intents underscore js the json file was like this. So every element over here as you can see had intent query and responses. So intents were greet, booking, menu, schedule, takeaway and bill. Okay. So there were six of them. So what is the thing is that what we are going to do here is in intense mapping we are basically going to have we are basically going to have all of these things and we'll assign a value to it. Why of why we are doing this is that the reason is because computers in general do not understand words they understand numbers and this is going to be very very important in the later part where we'll be training the model and that's why I have to introduce it to right now uh, to you right now. Intense mapping is basically you take the intent and you map it with a number reverse mapping i'm going to show what it is it's basically the reverse of this so now the mapping is on the left hand side and the intent is on the right hand side so basically this is a dictionary okay so these are the keys and these are the values reverse mapping these are the keys and the, these are the values reverse mapping will be used in the next to next video which is uh, during the inference time right now we will be using the intense mapping so wherever we have an intent we will not write greet we'll write zero booking will be written as one and so on and so forth now how does this matter or why does this matter so how is our machine learning or a simple neural network model that is going to be trained so basically you will be having some input we will see how we are going to uh, have the input in the next slide so let's say you have an input and we'll be giving it to the neural network how many neurons are there in the final layer there are six why because at the end of the day what you want is that you want to take an input from the user the sentence that the user is going to write and then you're going to pass it through the neural network then you are going to expect that the neural network predicts values that is the intent how many intents were there six intents were there so you'll be having six neurons okay and let's say if the neural network predicts the first one so let's just say okay so what will happen we will say okay that is to greet so this is zero this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so if let's say you have a zero that is your highest value like for example in this case the highest value is this is the third one that is zero one two this one corresponds to menu why because you can see two corresponds to menu so basically what you need is you will be having certain outputs and you will be trying to find the intent okay so while creating the data what you need to do is you need to encode the intent as a number so now let's see how you're going to do our uh, how we are going to do our uh, processing of the input so you remember in the last video we created the vocabulary I called it words list but you can also call it vocabulary so I had roughly around 48 words there now I cannot fit 48 words in the slide so what I did is I'm going to have only okay I'm going to have only nine of them over here okay so hi when how you in say are nice and go okay so these are the words Obviously, they are not in the sorted order. Uh, in that case, you had it in sorted, but it doesn't change anything. Okay. So, input sentence. Let's say the customer writes, "Hi, how are you?" So, how did we process this? Well, the first thing that we did is we removed the punctuations. So, we will remove the punctuations. Second, we will do the stemming. But since here the words are not going to be, you know, changed because there is no use of stemming over here. So, what will happen is they are already in the root form. So what will happen is high will be obviously lower was also implemented. So all the words that is there are now in the lower case. So what you had, you had the punctuations removed. So there are no punctuations here. You had all the words converted into the lower, uh, lower case. So you have all the words in the lower case and then you had a split, which is basically remove, uh, uh, which is basically having all the words as unique elements in a list. So now high is high, how is how r is r and u is u now we are going to create an input vector using the bag of words approach so basically what we will do here is for every word in the words list or the vocabulary 
we will see whether that word exists in our word list or not again for every word in our vocabulary we are going to see whether that word exists in the word list or not for example the first word in the vocabulary is high is is the word high present in the word list anywhere doesn't matter which position is it present yes it is present here so we will write one the second word is when is the word when present in the word list well it turns out that it is not present so we will have zero similarly how it is present one you it is present one in it is not present hi how are you the word in is not present so zero say will be zero r are you uh, r word is it present in the word list yes it is present here in the third position so you will have a one over here and lastly nice and go both of them are not present in the word list and you will have a zero so this is the input vector that has been created so what will happen is you will have the input vector so you have one zero one one zero zero one zero zero here you will have the same thing one zero one one zero zero one zero zero so this input vector is going to be fed into the uh, neural network remember this is the one that the uh, that the model is not trained upon why because this is the user's input i have written over here input sentence this is not for training this is the input sentence but you know while training also we will use the same thing okay so this is both applicable for training and testing or the inference but right now this sentence might be there uh, i think is there already but even if it is not there let's say you can also have the same thing because in the inputs to the neural network is going to be both during the training time and the inference time so let's say it is there in the training also doesn't matter okay and if it is not in the training also doesn't matter so you are going to give this input to the neural network and it predicts six values it you can see that it predicts six values now how do you know which which one it is you see the maximum you find the maximum you see okay the maximum is 0.37 okay so what does it correspond to you'll go back to reverse intent mapping you'll go back to reverse intent mapping but before that you need to have the position so this is zeroth position this is the first position and this is the second position so you go here you see the second position okay it is many so we need to well while creating our uh, data we need to make sure that our target variable for the uh, for the model is also in the format of 0 to 5 so now let's go and see the coding so if you remember we had completed till here in the last video and i have already explained what is intents uh, intents mapping so i'm just going to write intents mapping as a empty dictionary and i'm also going to use a reverse or rather an intents response this will be useful only in the next to next video so if you don't understand don't worry okay don't have to follow the intents response but let's say now what you're going to have is you're going to have i comma d in enumerate and then what we are going to pass we are going to pass here the dt okay so dt of data so basically the whole uh, intents of json so i explained all of this in the last video so i'm not going to go into detail what is dt and why we are writing data and all those things okay now what you're going to do you're going to have our intents mapping intense mapping of of what so you are basically going to pass the intent so let's say in the first you'll have the greet and what it is uh, what is the value we'll say the value is i okay lastly what we are going to do is we are going to have something called as a reverse mapping as well so reverse mapping uh, i showed you what is reverse mapping so you basically just invert it so we will have intense mapping intense mapping you're going to pass the k the number and then you also going to have the k for k in uh, intents mapping dot keys okay so our intents mapping was 0 1 2 3 4 5 and then it was mapped to the greet and all those things reverse mapping is just the opposite of that okay now what we need to do is after having done this well one more thing that i almost forgot we had written intense response what we are going to do is we are just going to have your intents underscore response so we are just going to have the responses okay so here i am going to write i is equals to d of responses responses okay so let's say if uh, what is the use i'm just explaining it right now in short uh, let's say if the predicted is as in the case you remember it was the third one so intents is gotten so okay this is the third intent but the problem is what we are going to respond 
So we should have the number i, right? So once the number we know, okay, 0, 1, 2, the number is 2, we can have the responses and then we will be using the responses to, uh, to print the output. Okay, now we have to create the data, create the, or rather create the training data. Okay, so I'm going to say we will go to have, we'll be, uh, we are going to have train, we are going to have a target and I'm going to have a function create data and here we will be passing dt, we will be passing words list and we will also be passing intents mapping. And you will understand while well, I'll be writing the code for this create data that why we have passed words list. Obviously you are, I think now that I explained to you, we will be using the bag of words and for that we need the words list. Intents mapping is basically for changing intents to number. That's it. It cannot do anything more than that. Okay, so now I'll have to open on a new file control N for opening a new file or creating a new file and I'll be naming that as create samples. So as you can see, I have created another file create samples and the, uh, and the directory is the same. Okay, so here that we are now we have to write train and target. We have to initialize it as an empty list. Okay. Now we need to we needed to have another uh, we need to define the create data function. Okay, so we receive we will receive dt we will receive words underscore list and we will also be receiving the intents mapping. So we will be writing here intents mapping. Okay, now the things that we are going to do here is number one we are going to have the dt function or rather the we are going to loop through all the d that is all the elements in the dt of data. So there were six elements if you remember and after that what we are going to do we are going to have the intent okay so i and t e is a variable for intent so what is the intent we are going to say dt dot a dt of intents or intent okay yes so dt dot intent now what we are going to do we are also going to have the query so i am going to say dt of query now obviously the reason for doing that is now we will iterate through every query okay and we are going to get the vector so i'm just going to write vector is equals to create vector of what of the query okay so we are going to have the vector for the query you remember the input vector that i had shown that was that this vector will be given to the neural network okay once we have that we are going to append it to our uh, vector we are going to append it to our train list and for the target list target list what we need to do is we can't just write i n t e why otherwise it will still be in the text format we need it in the number format and for that what we can use is we need we can use the intents mapping and i'm going to write here um intents mapping of i n t e so intents mapping will take the intent and will give us the value. So this is how we will be creating. But we also have to now define the create vector because this uh, function has not been defined yet. So the way we do it is we are going to say def create vector. Okay. And what we have passed here is we have passed Q, but we also need to pass words list. Okay. Words list. So we are going to pass here Q. And also going to pass words list you can also say vocabulary okay so we will initialize an empty vector so we will say vec now we did a couple of things we have to do so what we need to do is we need to first clean the um, query so instead of q I'm going to write sent so the sent is basically the query so we have to clean the query so cleaning first Im uh, involves removing the punctuation punctuations we will remove the sentence then what we do is after you have cleaned the sentence we can what we can do is we will convert it to a word list okay word list the way we convert it to word list is we will say clean sent dot lower dot split okay so this will convert it to the lower case and this will convert it into a list of words okay now the last thing we will do is stemming so we will say stemming list is going to be stemming now you might be wondering where these uh, functions have come from obviously we have defined it in the last video in tools so we will be importing that file so we will say stemming 
of word list okay so this is different this is words list and this is word list okay this is vocabulary this is just your word list and lastly what we are going to do is we are going to say for word in words list okay now we are implementing the bag of words thing so we are going to say vec dot append we are going to append if we are going to append one if word is available in the stemming list okay that is the bag of word approach else we will be applying or we will be appending zero so if let's say there is a word that is uh, if let's say there is a word in the word list that appears in the stemming list if that is the case then we will append one if there is a if the word uh, does not appear in the stemming list we will append zero that is the real uh, use of this so lastly we will return back now obviously these functions are not defined so what we have to do is we have to go on top and say from tools import remove punctuations and we also have to import the stemming function okay so the last thing that we need to do over here is we have to return train and we also have to return target hopefully this should work now let me go back to our main file okay and let's see if there is um let's say um len of train okay so i expect it to be 18 let's run it okay so there is a mistake instead of dt it has to be d because d is um, this one so we will save it we'll go back and try to run this one more time so as you can see 18 has been printed which means there were 18 uh, let's say there were 18 queries in total so let's say what is the length of each word uh, sorry length of each query so we will say length of train of zero as you can see 48 so basically what has happened is now you have 18 training samples and every every 18 every one of the 18 training samples is a vector of size 48 okay so we will keep it till here in the next video we will be training the data so bye